Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, before I start, I'd like to do a prayer. So, will you please stand and uh, all right, guys, close your eyes. Lord, Father God, we come here today and just give you thanks. Just thank you, Lord. We give you praise and the glory of what you have done for us, Lord. Lord, just thank you for getting us here safely. And those who can't make it, just be with them, Lord. Thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord. And those who didn't wake up this morning, just be with them, Lord. Lord, just, we want to thank you with all your blessings you have rained on us, Lord. And as I speak these words, I just want somebody to I just want to minister on somebody. Lord, I just want the spirit to wild, run wild free in this, Lord. Yes. Yes. It's the only place we can come and just praise you, Lord. Yes. Not only praise, but we can praise you anywhere, Lord. Yes. That we can know you always have our back and always be there for us, Lord. Yes. And we always remember that. Yes. We just want to thank you anywhere, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 First, giving honor to God and who's added my life, Pastor Jones, full pit. I'm going to talk about our youth team for a bit. But at first, I hope you don't mind if I take a minute to introduce myself before I get my message started. I will first define how some of the community sees me. First, they see a black man. And top that, a black man with dreads and some skinny jeans. <laughs> Let me translate what they already think they are. So be careful. Watch out for your purses. He probably does drugs. He probably doesn't go to school, or if he does, he'll be in jail soon. Those people that, pa those that pass judgment, you might want to think twice. Because first, I am the child of God. I am a proud black man. I never use drugs. I never drink alcohol. And keep it PG, I never did, you know what. I am a member of the National Honor Society in my school. I sit on the right GMC Council, the school climate committee, and other groups. I've never been the one for trouble. I'm a leader, not a follower. All right, all right, all right. Before you think I'm bragging, that is not my character. I see you make choices when it's hard to make them. I don't let society tell me who I am. I let God tell me who I am. I'm not perfect, but I try to make good choices. I'm not here to judge anyone. I rather help the youth make some of the not so cool choices. So with that, my name is Damian Cooper. I am 17 and a junior at Science Central High School. I'm the son of a proud mother, Tiffany Cooper. All right. <laughs> I'm the youth president of the New Jersey Missionary Baptist Church, and this is our first annual youth day. Yeah, all right. Our theme is Get That Sanctified Swag. Scripture is coming from Ephesians 4, 22 to 32. For a bit, I would like to address the meaning behind this day. But I just want to start off by saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be here right now. Amen. With all my talents, dancing, soccer, and stuff, he gave me all that. Amen. See, some of us forget where everything is coming from or how our life is going. It's coming from our Lord, our Father. Amen. In verse 25, it says, Wherefore, putting lines, speak every man true for his neighbor, for we are members of one another. See, every day we're walking to Salina Central High School or any public schools, it's a test for us, you. It's hard to be a Christian. Sometimes we get scared because we don't want to make, get made fun of or feel embarrassed. See, there's many haters in this world, or, you know, you want to call them. This past week, I was a target from one of these haters. We were sitting at lunch, I was sitting down at the table enjoying my lunch, and this boy had the nerve to tell this girl about her religion, like make fun of her religion. And I could see it in her face and eyes that she was really mad and the boy trying to blame it on me, you know what I'm talking about here, don't you? <laughs> and I was walking back to class and Sutton told me to, to speak with the girl. And I apologize for what the boy said and thank God what my character is and what you know, the God has my back. She already knew it wasn't me and she knew I wouldn't do something like that. Amen. Amen. But if you get really upset, and don't let the situation ruin your day. In verse 26, it says, Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. See, our youth has spent multiple weeks at Bible study learning about our anger. And one thing we learned was not to go to sleep angry. Youth, the devil is going to attempt us as many ways and many things he can possibly that makes us angry. Oh, yeah. But we need to be a bigger person and let our father handle it. Instead of fighting, cussing, or anything not manner like, actually try to settle things with that person. You can't 
getting that thing settled, move on, and go with your business, let our father take care of it. See, Wednesday night, Sister Newsom was telling us about how her daddy got her back, and now no one has her sanctified slayer, and she does. And meaning like the sanctified slag is like the children of the kings and our father has our back and he's always going to be there for us. Amen. See, it's hard for a teenager to stand up when he's had his weakness. This day was meant for us, you, to show that we have that swag and have our father right next to us. All right. I don't know about y'all, but I got that swag. All right. And nobody else is going to tell me different. All right. I'm not forgetting about you adults. Do you guys got that swag? Yeah. Or y'all want that swag? Do I just say yeah? yeah. Don't be scared who you are. Right. It's yourself. Be a Christian. It's not bad. It's not about representing who you are. Yes. God is always going to be there for you. That's right. And he's always going to have your back. Right. And if you can't go nowhere else, God's going to be there for you anytime. Yes. Right. Aaron, you already know what to do for this one part. <laughs> Can everybody stand, please?